Check test. Check test. Test. Testies. Te- Te- testicles. Te- Tetris. One, two. Testicles. Te- testicles. 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 Tetris. <laughs> <laughs> Um, well, hey, what's up, everybody? Uh, Grim Green here. I got, uh, I got my boy. I got my bro, own boy OC. He's in my house. It's unbelievable. Anyway, we wanted to shoot some video. We wanted to show you guys. We wanted to talk a little bit about the Rage Squonker, as well as eh, some. So we're gonna call it maintenance. I like yeah. this. Yeah, I maintenance, like maintenance is a very kind word. Maintenance for this. <laughs> we're gonna show you some how to take care of it, how to maintain it. If you run into an issue, how to fix said issue with it more more of so on the first batch <laughs> Dwayne's they, gonna get Dwayne's getting real honest here yeah because this is really it, it's it's bugged me for for a little while and I'm trying to get all the last of these units flushed out so on the first batch we have a o-ring that holds the bottle in place on the inside on the inside so what you have is a stem that comes down and it has an O-ring on it. With testicles. And the, yeah. <laughs> and the bottle goes into that. Well, when we did the first prototypes, we had we had no idea what the tension strength was going to be required to hold this bottle inside. So we put two O-rings on the prototypes. And when we tested the prototypes, two O-rings, way, 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 way too hard. Mm-hmm. One O-ring, mm-hmm. bottle goes in and out super easy. In and so, out. That's how you want it. <laughs> I can't not make jokes like that, Dwayne, when you're around. I'm trying to be serious. Serious. This is is the stuff that keeps me up at night. What we've done is basically a recall, or we've provided an option where somebody can open the unit up, take the four screws out, remove the O-ring. And we're going to show you how to do all this. Yeah, and then put it back together and email me a picture of you doing this, taking a picture of the process... Because I don't want people just emailing me getting free bottles. There's still mods out there that don't have this fixed. There's customers that have them. And I need to get these things fixed. Or I need to get them sent back to me so I can fix them. So that way you can enjoy the mod exactly the way we designed it. Yes. Now, you cannot find one. If you go tomorrow and go pick up a Rage, they've, it's already been fixed. This right. has already been This fixed. is only for the first run. Yeah, this was on rages. the first run before we caught it. And we had customers emailing me that their bottles were hard to remove. If you go get one from anywhere, it's not going to have this issue. But there are units out there that do have this issue. So like I was saying, we have two options for you. Um, One could be a recall where I'll send you a shipping label. You ship it back to me. I'll fix it. The second option is you do the fix yourself. Don't worry about voiding warranties. Don't worry about if something happens and the mod doesn't work right afterwards. Dude, I will overnight you a new unit unless you live in South Africa. Then it's probably yeah. going to take maybe three days. Wait, are to you get singling you out people that live in South Africa? Well, I'm just saying they should that just live, an example? If they live closer You're to just me. Like, nah, South Africans. They're on their days. own. Well, there's no <laughs> overnight shipment to South Africa <laughs> right, unless right. I hop on an airplane. Maybe Which he's willing to do. <laughs> Nick, that's his level of customer service that he offers. I feel like you've racked up a ton of frequent flyer miles over the past. (laughs) I probably have. I will courier a new rage squonker right to South Africa. Only South Africa, though. If you live in North Africa, screwed. (laughs) Sorry, I am so sorry to the people who got the first units and their bottles were super hard to get out. That was not the design intent whatsoever. You can't go back in time. All you can do is move forward, adapt and move forward. So that's what we do. Yeah. So. So we're going to show you, or Dwayne's going to show you, I'm not good at taking things apart. I broke the other Rage Squonker that I tried to fix. Well, you lost the button. I did. I lost the button. We're going to show you how to not lose We're going to show you how to do it without (laughs) losing a button. (laughs) So we're going to dive down low. We're going to do a quick little uppy closey and Dwayne... And his skilled, masculine, tattooed, beautiful, soft hands are gonna. He's gonna show you how to do it, how to take everything apart, easy peasy. You got lotion? I don't want people commenting. Oh, I got lotion. Should I trim my nails? Uh, how do they look? Yeah. Uh, That's just for you. Just lick them. So, that's what we're gonna do. And go. All right. Well, yeehaw, yippee ki yay. Step one's gonna be. You just want to remove the squonk bottle and set that to the side and then make sure your RDA is removed 
and then you're gonna open up that battery door cover and that's going to expose the four screws that you have inside that hold this uh, board and the battery sled in there. One of them is hidden by the QC sticker. So you're gonna go ahead and just pop a little hole right in that thing and that way you'll expose that screw and just go ahead and remove the four screws. So now that we got those four screws loosened, those were a, it's a 1.5 millimeter Allen and you can find that in most of your build kits. We're just gonna get rid of those screws. Get those little guys and the magnets on here love to catch the screws. So once you got the four screws removed, what you're gonna do is with the switches facing downward and what you're gonna do is the hole that you have right here where the squonk bottle was, you're gonna press with your finger through that hole. I'm gonna do this yeah, sideways here so you guys can see it, but I'm just gonna press with my thumb and push forward on that board. And that board's just gonna slide right on out. And once you get it to where the board has cleared the outer body, you're just gonna lift it straight up. And you're just gonna pivot that over. And that's going to expose two O-rings on the inside. You're gonna have a lower O-ring and an upper O-ring. That upper O-ring, that is the bastard stepchild. The easiest way to remove this O-ring is a set of needle nose pliers. Okay, so now we're gonna remove that upper O-ring by just squeezing and pulling it straight down. So once you got the O-ring removed, you wanna check to make sure that the switches are still sitting flat in recessed? Yes. Or recessed? Recessed. 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 I'm gonna go recessed. Recessed. Just make sure that those guys are recessed. recessed. And then you're just gonna put this thing right back together. You're gonna slide that sled straight back down. And then let's do a side view of this because you want that sled to go in evenly. You don't wanna have it go in kind of cockeyed. If it goes in cockeyed, then it's gonna be, you know, a little harder to slide in there. but. You're just gonna press that in there and voila. Double check, make sure your switches are cool. Switch is all cool. And then now you can install the four screws. You're good to go. So that's how it's done. Dwayne did it real effortlessly. Four screws, thumb thing, O-ring, thingy, four screws. And I'm not mechanical. You, you are mechanical. Not really. <laughs> I, look, I wouldn't be putting this out here Yeah. if I didn't that's think. It's way too loud. Yeah, they're, hold on. Nick's. Eight million dollar neighbor's house is being really <laughs> annoying right now. The groundskeepers, apparently, they're really doing a number out you there. Know, I don't know what's going on. We should uh, go hand them some hacksaws so they won't use power tools anymore. Yeah, how about that? Do, like, do this old school. Yeah, you guys here, old here's school. A, here's an axe. Can you chop that wood with an axe? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Dwayne, for showing us how it's done. And again, that's going to be a thing that not everybody's going to have to do. No, this is literally for literally probably, a few people left. Yeah, we're, we're down to the last little bit, but uh, my email, we need to definitely mention my email address. Oh, the yes. people that do fix this so yes. you can get free bottles, just make sure that you include pictures. I need a picture of you doing this. That way the factory can reimburse me for the bottles. So my email is ownboyoc at gmail.com. I'll put it right on the screen. Right here, homeboyoc, gmail.com. Just hit up Dwayne, prove that you fixed it, and if you free do, bottles. Yeah, and if you do have one and you're not comfortable doing this fix, by all means, email me, let me know. I'll send you a priority mail return label, and we'll get it shipped back to me. I'll knock it out that day and get it right back to you. Psh, easy breezy, so That's Japanese. how Dwayne does it. That's how he rolls. Like Non-mechanical, but... Yeah, he made a damn good squonker. I've talked about the squonker a lot in the vlog. I've not done a review for the squonker. It's a dope squonker, and Dwayne designed it. Yeah, it's, and just to clarify, because there's been a lot of people out there that were like, oh, you designed this for lefties. No, no, no. See, you lefties just got lucky. That's all that's I use all it in my happened. left. I use it in my left hand, and I press the button with my finger. He does it wrong. That, okay? Apparently, that's the wrong way. I didn't know there was a wrong or right way to do this. I put a lot of thought into the way that this <laughs> is laid out. It, it wasn't just throw the board here and curve the edge and let's roll. No, I knew that the mod was going to have some weight to it. It's a mm -hmm. dual 18650 made of zinc. I wanted you to be able to hold the mod securely, mm -hmm. thumb fire, thumb fire, squonk at the same time. 
Okay. So you and the can do reason both at the same time, even the even the height that I put the button at the yeah. fire button that was adjusted so that way your thumb can hit here. You can have a finger come under. Yeah. And then you can take that middle finger right on the bottle. That middle finger. This one. That one. Right. That one. Use this, this one. one. Use that one to squonk. Now it might be a little weird at first because I'm kind of a weird guy, but I guarantee you, after a couple hours of doing this, you're gonna be like, yeah. son of a bitch, he was right." It's a one-handed one right. one, one operation you if you just, do it the right way. And then after a couple days, you really get used to it. Then you, you go to the next level where you hit the squonk bottle instead of hitting the fire switch. And then that's when you know it's, <laughs> that's when you know the thing just sits that's when you, in your hand <laughs> perfectly. Please, please don't be like Nick. Don't. I do it left-handed. No. I like it better that way. I can't do anything with my left hand. I can do most my, things with my, my left hand. My left hand is... Just not doesn't coordinate well. You need to practice. So there's a right way to do it, the Dwayne way, <laughs> my way, obviously, which is the, the right, right way. way. <laughs> and I just want to convert you. I'm just trying to convert as many people as just possible. Just make this an easy process, as easy as possible to vape like me. To vape like Dwayne. Just more people need to vape like me. And yeah. if you hold it like this, yeah, and you do that right there, all I want you to do is email Grim Green. <laughs> <laughs> just send him an email and let him know. Say hey. Own boy was right. Own boy was right. This one time, just give me one. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm like Kent trying to sit in the front seat. Just, just give me one. Just give me one. <laughs> give me one shot. Give me shotgun once. Come on, guys. Come on. Yeah. Anything else you want to talk about uh, on the rage? No. I mean, How have you been liking it? I critique it. I tell me, tell I, me what sucks. I really like it. I personally really like it. If there was downsides to it, which there's downsides to everything. I mean, nothing's perfect, right? No. It can't be flawless. Because it's all subjective. Um, it, it's made out of zinc. Which makes it real weighty. Yeah, it like reminds a tank. me like a tank. It mm -hmm. reminds me of when I first got that very very first Relo that came out. It mm -hmm. was three eighteen six fifties, and it just felt. It feels great when you're holding it and using it, but like if you throw this in your pocket, oh yeah, it's it's, it's awkward and I can't wear this. I can't it's weird use and sweatpants with this. Yeah, mod sweatpants. In my pocket, no, do not work. Not a chance. I also I really like the the battery sled. Yeah, I like that there's no ribbon because you don't need a ribbon. No, because you made it open over here, so you can just go, boop, take your battery out, take your battery out, put your battery in, put your battery in. There's no ribbons. There's no weird things that like grab the tips of your battery wraps. Oh, like, there's a snaggers. lot of sleds. Like yeah. still, even sometimes in the hexome, it will still <laughs> like snag the top, the tip of my battery wrap, and that's never been an issue in this. And that's just having that. It gives you a little peace of mind. Spring-loaded life. Spring-loaded life. It's great. So what were we it's talking it. about? The rage? <laughs> Dude, we're, where, we're where, where can people pick this uh, fine mod up? Oh, um, boy, OC. It's, it's probably all sold out. Okay. So nowhere. You probably nowhere. Can't They're gone. No. we No more rages. We might have a few left. On we should have a few on recoilrda.com. Mm -hmm. And maybe you want to do a solid, and we'll get rid of the last of the gold rebels. Okay, this is going to be super limited. Code? No, you can't do coupon codes. So you're going to go on recoilrda.com, and you're going to see the Grim Green Combo Pack. Uh-huh. And I'm going to pick, it's probably going to be either a black mod or a brush mod. Uh-huh. And a gold rebel. Uh-huh. And we'll do it normal price, 99 bucks. Oh, okay. That's like a thank wow, you. that's an amazing deal. Is that a, is that a good enough that's thank a, you? That's a too good to of a deal. That's to, a great deal. To be like, hey, thanks for buying our stuff and supporting yeah, us. Yeah, absolutely. And I think that's kick-ass. And then the last of the gold rebels that I have magically to good people go to good homes. You so have to install the squonk pins. I've done so. There's gonna be. Is I've this really set 400. up? Did you set this up already? No, I'm gonna oh, go okay. do this. We're gonna do this, and it's called the Grim Green Combo Pack. <laughs> Basically, you get a free gold rebel. Free gold rebel. Maybe if you I'll buy throw a, a couple blacks in there. Okay, so you get a free gold rebel while supplies last. Yeah, this limited is totally quantity available. <laughs> as a thank you. As a thank you. As a thank you. Yeah. It's cool to be able to do stuff like this. I agree. Well, right on. Now that you've given away all of our money, Nick. Yeah. <laughs> We're done Thanks for watching. This has been a long video just to show, you know, a little bit. But we talked a lot and we got to hang out with Dwayne and that's that's what matters. Don't forget about the Grim Green Combo Pack. I'll throw a link uh, somewhere, probably down in the description, to where you can get a free gold rebel if you just buy a rage. Just giving them away. All right, cool. 
Well, there you go, everybody. I don't know. Thank you so much for watching. You want to take us out? Do a catchphrase. Make up a catchphrase now. Like if you're ending your own YouTube video, what would you say at the end? What would I say at the end of my own YouTube? Yeah, at the end, because you're starting a new YouTube channel. No, I'm just buying I'm buying time to think of something by, oh, by okay, repeating okay. exactly what you said. So yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So take us out. All right. Are there any kids in the room? <laughs> no. Oh, peace out, motherfuckers. Peace out.